Oh, hi, guys. What's up, people? Don't you want to see my chair? And welcome to Japan, people. Literally, what day is it today? It is the 15th of March, the Wednesday. So, today we are going to Shibuya. Now, as you guys know, money's getting a little bit more tighter and tighter by the day now. So, and that a lot of money I'm going to be bringing with me. And most of the time today, it's going to be more likely looking around probably picking up a few little tiny small things, literally probably it's more likely Shibu is more like a food area and everything so pretty much it's going to be a nice day of uh, looking around, picking random bits of food up, try it all out etc 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 but anyhow yeah, last night before when the cameras were finished I finally finished off another video game collection Senran Kagura. Now this is the Beach Ball Collection Edition. Now what this consists of is a game is inside it, but not just one game, it contains two. The second one that is, is the Premium Game, which is the Dating Simulator game. The only way you could go, got this in America was by getting it from limited limited run, and it's too expensive. And I've been trying to look all over this place for this one version of that game, and it turns out in Japan, it was only as a double pack, so I got freaking lucky to find it. It did cost me over 10,000 yen to get it, but it's now over and done with. But besides that as well from last night, I picked up some Game Boy slash Game Boy Color protection cases just for them Pokemon games. If I do have any spare money, I might be buying more of them sold cases just to sleeve up the stuff that I got at home as well, including some of the expensively rare ones. So. Without further ado, I'm going to go probably get myself a nice cup of coffee or uh, a nice uh, chocolate mocha and then we're going to head over to Shibuya because today is Shibuya, Take a Shit Street and the one and only Kamuro Cho, aka Kabuki Cho. See you guys down there and I'll see you after my drink. Bye! Well, I just walked past the, this normal cafe that I mainly walk past to and you guys know that white day is now over and done with. But, they're now advertising the Kamen Rider film for their special croissant. Croissant! And then you got yourself the cherry blossom, which is strawberry. Ooh, Once again, another sunny day, Tokyo. Welcome to Shibuya, people. Now, to be honest with you, I didn't come off the correct exit, but I'm still in Shibuya either way. Uh, where we might be going first? Now, I thought to myself I might go to the um, Shibuya crossing, but we're actually 14 minutes away, 14 minutes away from Tiger City Street. And right next door to it is a shrine. And then if we got a chance after that, we'll go to Kabuki Cho, and then back to the Shibuya crossing. So, let's try and get that sorted. And like I said, most of the, most of the day today, Taking pictures, vlogging, you get the gist. Because I don't think there's a lot, a lot of shops that would really catch my interest. But as well though, I'm trying to save that money for like the last few days. So, yeah, let's go and have a look. Apologies if I'm heavy breathing. I'm just going to upload a vlogging flight of stairs. And I'm knackered. Well, a bit of prime would always help us a lot. So let's get going, shall we? Oh, we found the lint. But guess what, people? We don't even need to go in there anymore because uh, the United Kingdom have actually announced that worldwide chocolatey and lint is no longer exclusive anymore. So there's nothing exclusive about it at all except for, of course, the drinks. But well, I'm not thirsty at all, but the chocolates are all exactly the same. But yeah, there's a lint here in Shibuya. You guys want to come down here? What's with this freaking shop? I see it everywhere now. K 
kitty land. What the hell is wrong? What is that? What is this place? I only know it's about fucking to like kitty toys or something like that. But it's mostly young girls or children or m pretty much older women. Look, Alice, it's kitty land. Do I look like something queer to you? <laughs> Literally queuing up for the new Samsung Galaxy uh, Z Flip 4. They must have got the new stock in just today. So all freaking going in. Every single one of them. And every single one of them is a woman. <laughs> it must be that thing, innit? it? Samsung must be for women I and mean, iPhones are for lads. Cats are scrapping. Fucking guns. One's blonde one's winning. The other one's just having no care in the world. A nice little blowy day today, but it's nice and hot and sunny. But we've made it. Take a shitter street. Literally people break the words down. Take shit a street. <laughs> Love the innuendos. And you know, Mr. Furious Pete's uh, favourite ice cream parlour, the Krebs. Always queued up as always. But literally, everywhere's been queuing up. Every single place that I've been walking past have all been queuing up like there's no tomorrow. It's like the iPhone shop that's literally bustling with wealthy businessmen. You have the Samsung Galaxy shop that was just lined up like hell by all the all the ladies and all the girls. Baseball's pretty much empty. Then you have the um, sports centre there. But most people are heading straight to take a shitter street, which we're going to go in next. So this is the world famous long, longer and longest. Pretty much potato on a stick. <laughs> well next to it you got this all the um, the cheese dog that you guys all hear about on the internet and on Instagram and TikTok. And then you have the sugar covered strawberries. Gotta give them a go. Go ahead and do it one hand free man right now. So we got ourselves the candied strawberries. I keep forgetting what they're pronounced in the UK. Or oh, in Japanese, I don't know how to pronounce them. I think they're uh, strawberry da darapoos. I keep forgetting what they are. Let's give them a try though. Remember, Mum, I am eating my fruit, but it's covered in sugar. <laughs> Busted. It's like one of the most sweetest strawberries you can ever think of. The, um, <laughs> compared to the ones that we have in the UK, and most of the time you can only get the UK ones in summer, because if you get any others from other season, they're dry as shit. But these ones are always juicy every single year round. I don't know how enough to do it, spot on. The sugar's right. The dentist's gonna fucking hate me when I get home, I know they are, because that's a lot of fucking sugar, <laughs> and I'm gonna have the most biggest sugar rush later on today. Um, for the strawberries, 10 out of 10. The sugar, 10 out of 10. But no, this is the most awkwardest, weirdest thing. No, if you guys are into your pride shit, they've got rainbow toasties. <laughs> rainbow corn dogs, literally everything's that, everything that's cheesed. It's all been dyed in different colours of the rainbow. That says. But I bet it is fucking foul. What the fuck is that? That's candy floss. Poor child's engulfed in it. That's one thing I probably won't taste because you guys know me when it comes to candy floss, it gets freaking everywhere. And especially with me, my sugar is fucked up in my head as it is. Oh, that's adorable. The young kids just literally carrying it. 
<laughs> Adorable. <laughs> when it always comes to street food and everything, there's always a McDonald's around the corner. LOL! This thing is fucking massive. Now this is another one I noticed that I've seen on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, you know, etc. Everybody's eating it. Furious Pete's eating it. He pretty much ate this thing in, uh, I think it was in 10 seconds he did it, isn't it? Fucking ridiculous. Let's give it a try, shall we? I how this is going to work out. Ooh. It's like dolphin wild potatoes. That's nice, that. Can't say it's the best thing, but it will fill me up really quick. Still busting. I like it. It's nice. Um, I can give it a good solid 8 out of 10. After eating that lot, bloody hell, my heart is pumping like a fucking tank right now. The amount of salt that was in it. Oh. For people who've got cramps and everything, very good for them. But for me, fuck me, I have to drink a lot of the prime to get that washed it down. Um, still give it an A, it's just that if you guys like your salt, it's definitely worth to try. But if you guys cannot tolerate too much salt, I try to avoid it. <sighs> Thanks KSI for the prime, I appreciate it. <laughs> this prime is going to be a saviour throughout this whole trip, it has been really good. Because anything that has extra amount of salt, that hydrate counters it instantly. So, thanks for the um, tip there, KSI. <laughs> so, we've been to Tickershire Tuck Street. Now, I'm gonna go to another shrine. Now, the shrine is literally next door to Tickershire Street, and it's also next door to, to Kabukicho, also known as Kamurocho. Now, I'm there again to say another prayer and all that love, and plus take some lovely pictures as well. And you guys already know that, that's this place. I'm not trying to go around looking for book offs and mandrakes, but there's a mandrake actually nearby as well. I want to go and have a look, but I'm not going to buy anything. Unless it is something I really do want. Which I doubt it. Unless it's Will of Rose. Anything else, not really bothered with. But, I can definitely tell you truthfully though, Shibuya Tickets to Street is still ace. It's a lot of fun. It's good for young'uns, it's good for tourists. Just be careful of, of some of the scams that are in there. You can definitely spot them a miles away. I'm not saying anything. You guys will know it when you see it. If you, when you do turn up. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the temple. Slash shrine. Say a few prayers. And then we're gonna move on to Kabukicho. Or should we be crossing? It's one of the two. More like I'm gonna go to Kabukicho first. So let's get there. So it's that same time again people, what do I do, do I take the same route I did last time where I literally got lost in the forest for about an hour at least, but I did find the shrine in a different way around, or take the route that it should be giving me. I'm going to take the normal route this time because we might get better pictures as well. Let's go underneath the, let's go underneath it. And don't forget people, when you enter around this area, you always have to make sure you bow before you go in. Well, that was the same book in the world here, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is, number 16. This is the way that we went last time, where we got lost in the deep woods. That was in 2017, people, when we went in there and we got lost for about at least an hour. Luckily, we found somebody and pointed us the correct way. But. I'm not going that way again. We're going this way, okay? That was a freaking nightmare last time, and we might as well have some different scenery than last time, okay? No more Mr. YOLO for me.
Makes me freaking laugh, yeah, people. And we're walking to the shrine and everything. And everybody sees literally a sign and they literally go ahead and go straight to it. And what is it? It's where you can get food <laughs> and drink. They must be that knackered. They didn't even get the a chance to get something to drink or to eat. Ah, oh, that's why I went to take a shit street first. Now that's my type of thing. Do you have of wines? Ooh. Now, I know for sure that I know somebody from where I live who knows himself as level 3 Callum that'd be very, very, very interested in some of these wines. And no crap, Callum, I cannot steal one and bring it over to England. <laughs> God forbid me doing that. It's all different type of wines from many centuries ago. Stayed, literally stayed in these barrels for many, many generations. And then you have the barrels that they put them in together. Sheesh! So this is where the Kiva Masha well is. Huh. I took it out. Okay, cool. So inside the shrine, this I definitely did miss when I was here last time because, of course, you guys already know I was freaking lost. This is the uh, Meiji Jingu inner, inner Garden. So, this is something else I can check out as well. This cost me 500 yen to get in here, but it's a part of the shrine, so I might as well check it out before we head to the shrine. And then after that, Kamurocho. You guys are going to be excited for Kamurocho, I'm sure. Oh, hello. Hello. It's a wild pidgey. Well, not really a pidgey, but we felt like some sort of species bird. Hello. Another tea house. Left or right? We're going right. Holy shit, people, look at this. Oh, it feels like a Final Fantasy area. No it, no, it doesn't look like Final Fantasy. It looks like freaking Legend of Zelda. Holy crap. This was under my nose. This was under my nose. All these years, I didn't even know this was here. That's amazing. Speechless. It looks freaking beautiful. You guys know how much I love my bonsai trees. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Just so much wildlife. The view at the front was so nice, but the back I think is way better. The way the tre little bonsai trees and the little bushes are all di displayed right in front of the tea room. It's absolutely beautiful.
and turtles in here. Literally inside the actual gardens. We weren't expect to see wild turtles knocking about. And not only that, white blossoms as well. Oh, oh it smells nice around here too. Not food wise, you idiots. They've been the flowers. They smell nice around here. So pretty much here because it's the um, the actual most of the um, plants grow around June around here. That's why you don't see a lot, a lot of the trees fully grown yet. But it's still lovely seeing it all. If people might be thinking though, it's like Dobsy, it's March. You should be cherry blossoms everywhere. Some blossoms actually grow at different times of the month. So like the ones that I saw, you guys saw, um, in Ginza, in um, Unio, near Yokohama, they already started blossoming. But these ones here and the ones near the zoo, they don't blossom yet until the 16th. So yeah, wait until the actual blossoms do come out and then it'll be crazy. The well was first belonged to the Lord Gato during Endo period. This well was a foundry held of Neochi, the South Pond and the pure water. Gushes out of the shitty flow over the year round. This well is famous for the English way of sinking and swimming of water quality. Do not drink. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. famous well. A lot of people may be thinking it's just a freaking well. But yeah, it's the most purest well that you can ever get. This one spot literally takes you to all over the place just by one watering hole. So that's pretty much where the one of the famous wells resides in literally inside this big massive garden but without that well there would have been no water in that area so it has a lot of history to a lot of Japanese folklore now tomorrow if you guys want to know it's St. Patrick's Day <laughs> that tells you how long these videos have been going on for now I know a lot of you guys have been celebrating St. Patrick's Days in America and in the United Kingdom and all over our all, of course all over Ireland and the part of Europe Japan they slightly celebrate it they mainly call it Green Day but uh, I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow around other places like Akiba and I'm going to a Pongi tomorrow don't understand why I should do because it's an expensive area and I don't really have that much money for me anymore but I do want to check it out you know for sceneries and everything so now that we've done this garden i think it's time for us to go straight to the shrine and then straight to kabuki cho so let's get there well that was definitely worth it people for that little tiny area literally you couldn't imagine what that place was like it was like stepping into legend of zelda it was absolutely a beautiful garden 100 percent worth it but now Time to move on to the shrine, shall we? Here we are, people. The great shrine. the great shrine Ooh. okay people so we finished the shrine we've gone ahead and said our prayers pretty much picked up an amulet charm it's pretty much 
gives you good fortune and everything like that. Uh, it's just like a little tiny prayer that keeps going with you all the time. Uh, there is loads of different ones you can get. You can get yourself like good fortunes, wealth, um, safe travels and all that. My one is for sickness and illness. Uh, a lot of people may be thinking, why did I pick that one? It's because that, I don't want to say who the person it is, but it's probably for two people. We have one person that's been ill all her life, all the time. Um, I always try and care for her as much as I can. I love her too much. Um, I just wish that she can get better all the time. And the other one is uh, tackling cancer at the minute. Uh, I found out he was tackling cancer for the third time just before I was flying to Tokyo. So all the way through this travel, I've been keeping myself up to date on everything he's doing and whether he's getting better or if he's passing every single test that he knows and at the moment in time he's been passing every single one with five flying colours so this is looking like it's going to be a good day for him and hopefully that these wishes and these prayers will go straight back to him and he will tackle cancer for the third time in a row now now that we're finished with the shrine let's go ahead to the land where everybody knows that I was known for where Back Me Tai was originally made in the video game and that is the land of Yakuza's Kabuki Cho also known as Kamuro Cho let's go change of plan people instead of going to Kamuro Cho just yet I'm going to go to that Mandrake because I was actually near it and the Shibuya Crossing and then I'll get myself a bus or a tram to go straight to Kamuro Cho it's a lot more easier and it's fucking hot so I don't want to do too much of the walking. Damn, baby, look at you. Yeah, I'll give you my A, B, C, C. I'll give you an A because you're awesome. A B because you're beautiful. A C because you're confident. Hell, I'll even give you this D because you deserve it. Does my eyes deceive me? But is that a Sports Direct? But worded differently. Look at it. it has the same logo as Sports Direct. What the fuck? Okay, now that's quite, um, takes me back home. Telephone box, it's got graffiti on it. Just literally in the middle of Tokyo. Great. Well, <laughs> just went in that mandrake. Fuck! I wish I had more money on that. Well, I could go to my hotel and pick it up and come back here, but that means I'm gonna leave with absolutely nothing left unless I change my UK pounds into more yen. I don't really wanna do that. There was a Yu-Gi-Oh! English version of the Master Collection Volume 2 and that is fucking rare as horse shit. Well, rare as gold shit. But it was 30,000 yen. Mm. There's always next time though, people. There's next time when I come back to Tokyo, there may be one again somewhere else. That could still be there for the whole entire years. We don't know. Anyhow, I did see some Ash Blossoms in there, but I thought, I can get ash blossoms elsewhere, I know I can. I just get myself some deck, some booster box, even you know, structure decks in the UK when they're on offer, and I can just pull them out in as commons and just use them that way. Anyhow, next up, we're going to um, Shibuya Street, the um, actual crossing. We're going to film some stuff there, and then after that, we're going to Kamuro Cho, Kabuki Cho. See you guys when we get to Shibuya Crossing. People, you wouldn't believe this unless I showed you. Would you believe that there's an there's an IKEA that's just literally just a restaurant only and it's not for selling fur furniture? Yeah, it's a fucking restaurant. Holy shit, that's fucking hilarious. Who would want Swedish meatballs? They taste like shit.
it's like a bunch of bunch of ants. Now, you may be thinking, how on earth can I get a good bird's eye view? Well, number one, I have to fucking climb. But if you really want one, I can easily get you one very easily. Watch this. There, was that easy? <laughs> yeah, I told you people, I got my ways around shit. Anyhow, time for Kamuro Cho. Time for Kabuki Cho. First off, we need to get to a train first. Luckily, I'm right next to one. So, without further ado, let's go to where it all began. I fell in love with the video games of the Yakuza. You can definitely tell that you're near Kamuro Cho with all the host clubs, hostess clubs and the advertisements of it all over vehicle bags. Like that one over there. That one's a bit weird because that one's for the hosts. So pretty much women will go ahead and pay for the men to see it all that I still think it's a bit weird and a bit wrong. It's literally giving your way money to a fake relationship. It's quite bad. Either way, we're getting closer to Kamuro Show. But I've not seen the, the actual gate yet. I can't wait to see that gate because that's the one thing I'm extremely excited for because that is the pinnacle of that place. I cannot believe it. I'm here. Where, when I was a little kid, I played literally just a normal Japanese game. Didn't think anything about it. And all of a sudden it became my all-time cult classic game that I always play every single year on my channel. Welcome to Komuro Cho, also known in the real world, Kabuki Cho. Now, the gate looked different for what I knew. There's two different gates, the standard one, and then there is, of course, the normal one. But I don't see the big one that you see on the internet. I don't know if they're taking it down or not. But I'm gonna have a look around on Kabuki Show. I can't say Kabuki Show because people will think I'm butchering it like crazy. But there's Godzilla up there, which is great. So he's like the residence who lives around in Kabuki Show, which is quite cool in Shibuya. So, let's go have a look around Kabuki Cho, shall we? I can't wait to see if there's anything that looks the same or anything different, but at the minute, some things do look the same. And we know exactly what that was supposed to be. That was supposed to be the Don Quixote in the game. It is, that, that's the Don Quixote. That means the sign is that way. Let's have a look. I can't, like, I can't resist. I can't. This is gonna be fucking amazing if we do see it. Yeah, this is the actual area where you actually get your taxi and you enter. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No way. It is here. The one and only Kamuro Cho. Oh my god. I've got goosebumps. The legendary area where Kiryu Kazuma, Goro Majima, and all the rest of them turned up here, kicking absolute ass on every single person they saw. The great karaoke songs, literally everything they did was there. It's like it's like a child's dream, but a gamer's dream for me. To get the area where the Yakuza series started. I need to go inside and check it out. Now I know that a lot, a lot of people said on the internet to never go inside Kabuki Cho. Reason because they still think it's dangerous, some people think it's a massive trap, because a lot of people go in there because of the video game stuff. If you get mugged, whatever it is. Okay, now if I get mugged, I'm gonna fucking fight like there's no fucking tomorrow. But like we could do with windmill walkers. Anyhow, I'm gonna take pictures of it, try and vlog a little bit of it. This is gonna be fucking men. Looking love it. Dude, 
guys, this place is the same. Exactly the same from the video game. Dude, I know exactly where I am now. It is. Oh my god. That's the building. That building there. That's where uh, Serena is in the video game. So, this is where it all started with Kiryu Kazuma. And his best mate in the first game. I can definitely say to you guys, this place is definitely is full of drunks. Um, there must be party boys and party girls all night around, no matter what. Oh my god. Literally, all the places that were in the game. Oh my god, they've got the Shingu too. Oh, good hell, they've got the cinema as well. Holy shit. There's no fucking way. I didn't think any of this was going to be true. That's where you go inside to get all your food and everything. There's the fucking bowling alley. Oh my god. There's the arcade. So, down there was where the real estate area was. So, down there was the... Uh, if I remember it in the video game Judgment, it was the lawyer area. So down that way was the karaoke area. So now we have this area. Wow. This area is a little bit different from last time. But this is the area where um, the guys from Judgment were. This is where the pretty much the lawyers teamed up to try and take on that case. About like the one in Yokohama. If you guys remember the stream. And I bet you money that building down there is a low Oh no, that's Gogo Curry. Oh shit! So if that's raised that. So this way over here is where the love hotels are in the video game. I could be dead wrong, but for what I remember in the map. That's where they are. I fucking love it when I'm fucking correct. I was right. Down there is the love hotels. Then that's the host clubs. Literally, I'm getting, I'm taking every single box right here. I know exactly where everything is. And this is my first time coming here, but I know exactly where everything is. All because of me playing a fucking video game. <laughs> um, so. Where, what else is there that was around Sabuki Cho in Malton well, Komodo Cho? There was also the bar area, but I do I really want to risk it and go in there when I think it could more likely be the most dangerous area of the place. Oh man, holy shit, a freaking giant monkey! Giant almost monkey down there. Freaking King Kong is everywhere now. Do you see him? And of course. So this area must be where the best of the best are. The best hosts of all Kabuki Cho. And as you guys know, it's like a competition that I'm on. You come become the best, you are the best. And you make a shit ton of money. Uh, well, I remember one of them that I saw on the YouTube on a, an interview. He made around about, in a month, he made around about 1.7 million yen. That's like beyond comparing. That's like serious money for one person in literally a month. That's a lot of money. I'm a boss to them though. If they can make that money, they can make that money. We get more money than freaking prostitutes. There's the Love Hotel that a lot, a lot of people definitely do know of. The uh, Hotel and Spa Pasa, the resort, literally has about 120 rooms and they are all Love Hotel rooms. 
So if you guys are a little bit um, horny for the day and you want to bang somebody, go in there. <laughs> oh, fucking way, the green tower. So this is where the billboards are, this is where the car park is. So you guys have an idea on where exactly where I am in Kabuki Cho. But down there, if you guys remember in the video games, they mainly have that as like the underground gambling area. Where they have like the Mahjong and the Chuko. Jeez, everything's all fizzling up together. So, if that's where the billboards are, then that means down there is where the in the video game they had the, that um, Chinese um, building that got set on fire in number two, where the Chinese triads were. I bet. I bet that's it over there. Okay, people. Now we're getting into the areas where pretty much you just want to call them the red light district. Pretty much the brothels. Yo, know, I'm literally. Holy shit, I can't turn the camera right there. So, yeah, we pretty much are in the red light district and there's maintenance going on around here, restaurants going on there. Pretty much just shit tons of lot of stuff around here. It's beyond comprehended. It's just crazy. You guys remember these fish very well, don't you? The fugu fish, also known as the puffer fish. Now, you guys already know exactly what the puffer fish is. If you want to know a little bit of a lesson for you, puffer fish are pretty much the most deadliest, most poisonous fish you can ever consume. They are about 10 times more stronger than cyanide. And if you eat it and it's been prepared wrong, And if you prepared it wrong, literally you'll start off with a headache, you start having sweats, you'll start feeling numb, and then all of a sudden you'll start vomiting, and then all of a sudden you can't breathe, and then that's it, you die. That's how bad it is. Um, but most of the time, the people who serve fugu in Japan are mainly all the best of the best chefs you can oh, think of. They never really get it wrong, and if they did, they would have shut out. They would have been shut down by now. So, yeah. Now, one thing is though, you might be thinking, have I had it before? I did. Did I like it? No. Didn't like it. I think to me, I think it's like a rubber band. Anyhow, that gives me a minute to give myself a bit of a break. Sometimes I move around to stay out of people's way because I don't have a clue who is who in this area because you don't know whether the rumours are true or the rumours are not true. I'm not taking any risks. Damn people, though, the women in here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Funny. Um, dude, dude if, if I lived around this area, I've been partying here even way more. I'd be probably partying in the daytime. With the amount of girls and the guys who only drink in the daytime is insane. Anyhow, let's press on. Hey, truthful people, this place could either be sketchy, it could be scary, it could be amazing all at the same time because, like I said, you played the games, you've watched me play the games, you've seen my live streams. Everything is exactly what I see fit it was. And it's beyond, it's beyond questioning on what it can be. But I tell you truthfully though people, do I regret coming here though? I definitely don't know regret coming in the Kabuki show. It's definitely a bucket list tick for me, 100%. I'm not going to go ahead and start vlogging as much around here now because I don't really not sure what is going to happen next but I'll definitely try and take some pictures of the whole rest of the area because um, some people are looking at me weirdly and I do not know why so yeah I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stay for long but I'm going to try and take some good pictures and then we're going to sod off and uh, head back home yeah so that was a hell of an experience there this time in Shibuya I tried the um, Instagram and the TikTok food that everybody talks about. Of course, you had the spiral potato thing. Give that 8 out of 10. You had the um, strawberry covered in candy. Beautiful as anything. Very delectable. Very, very sugary. 10 out of 10 for me. 
The only thing I didn't buy is because of the, is the uh, mozzarella cheese corn dog thingy. I've already had it. It's alright. It's very, very filling. I enjoy it a lot. I give it 9 out of 10 either way, but I didn't need, need to vlog that again or anything like that. Um, Take a shit the street was always amazing. Should be a crossing. Unbelievable as always. Kabuto Cho, Kabuki Cho. O M F G. Definitely a highlight. The Yakuza series has definitely put that down to a T on what it looks like. It was absolutely phenomenal. Sadly, a lot of the things I might have that I possibly might have recorded was probably not won't be allowed on YouTube because of how much stuff that be that might have been revealing. Um, I'm talking about prostitutes knocking about in the streets, we're pretty much almost wearing ha nearly hardly anything on, or you could probably see something but you have to squint a little bit. Um, a lot, a lot of red light district area parts there, um, a lot of drunk people, I'm talking about a lot of drunk people, and it wasn't like early, day. it wasn't late or anything like that. You're talking around about maybe 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock at, at least. And they're still fucking drunk. So it's, it's either they were partying from last night and they're literally partying still. Or they started early and they've already fucking wankered. Whatever their choice was. But yeah, that place was absolutely fantastic. It was very scary. It was quite threatening. It was unbelievable. I enjoyed it. Even though it was quite fucking scary because like I said people, that's where the Yakuza's were mainly were. It was a place that was run by the Yakuza's. So, of course I'd be fucking petrified because they're still knocking about. They're just underground. We don't know where they are. They could easily be literally around the corner for all we know. But like I said, we don't know because the police won't tell you anything about it because I have a fucking good fucking reason that the police are involved with them. That's why they're quite fucking laid back nowadays. <laughs> Anyhow, tomorrow I was planning on going to Rapongi, but because of how expensive that place is, and I know that if I see something there, I would buy it in a heartbeat, I might give that a miss for tomorrow, which is Thursday. I'm thinking I'm planning on going to the Tashiji Fish Market. More food cuisine, bit of vlogging there and everything, but there's also been a room, there's been also news about it that something in Ikebukuru has just been opened up, a new anime shop. Um, that come, opens up tomorrow, so... Ooh, does it look like I might be going back to Ikebukuru again to check it out? See if there's anything there that might catch my interest? Maybe. But anyhow... That is it for the vlog for today, people. Um, there's nothing else really for me to do today, people. Because right now, I'm just going to go and relax. So, if there's anything that pops up, I may vlog it later on. But for the time being, this is it for me. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
さよならは言えたのダメだねダメよダメなのよあんたが好きで好きすぎてどれだけ強いお酒でも歪まない「バカみたい」切なさの夜風浴びる一人になって三年が過ぎ街並みさえも変わりましたなのになのにどうして未練だけ起きさで。